72 hours or war. Simon Eggman sends urgent warning to Tunubu over the release of Namdi Kano. Now, so, now, so, um, since they said they don't want to listen, that what the uh, uh, Wogili wants is just to be adjourning and be keeping Namdi Kano in detention, is what they want. Definitely, they will surely get uh, what they want. And what they want is what Ekma is set to give to them. I greet everybody when they listen to this very news, my people. No be small matter. Let's go straight to the content. This is today's news. In a recent development that has stirred controversy and heating tension in Nigeria, the Biafran government had made alarming allegations regarding the health of Mazi Namde Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, in a statement issued by Simon Ekba. A prominent figure within the Biafra movement, it was asserted that Kanu's health has been compromised due to poisoning allegedly orchestrated by the Nigerian government. The focal point of concern emerged from a recent image depicting Namde Kanu in a courtroom setting. The Biafran authorities scrutinized this image and purportedly the sand signs indicating possible poisoning. This assertion has sparked outrage and led to swift demand for Kanu's immediate release from custody for urgent medical attention. The gravity of the situation was underscored by the ultimatum issued by the Biafran government to Nigerian authorities. A 72-hour deadline was set demanding the release of Namde Kanu for medical treatment. Failure to comply with these demands would purportedly result in their consequences as articulated by ECMA. See every visible structure that represents Nigeria within Biafran land go down. Such a declaration intensifies the already fraught relationship between the Nigerian government and proponents of Biafran separatism. The quest for Biafran sovereignty rooted in East historical grievances and aspirations for self-determination has long been a contentious issue in Nigerian politics. Namde Kano leadership of the IPOP has been a focal point for those advocating for Biafran independence. The allegations of poisoning directed at the Nigerian government added a disturbing dimension to the ongoing saga. Accusation of such a grave nature demands thorough investigations and accountability. The implication extends beyond the individual case of Namde Kano to abroad questions of human rights, rule of law, and the conduct of state authorities. You see, Bola Ahmed Tunubu supposed uh, to have released Namde Kano if truly he has it in mind to release him. But I tell you, Tunubu have his own politics and his own politics is what is still keeping Namde Kano in detention. He doesn't want to release him. He wants to use Namde Kano to achieve his own stated objective, but he don't fail, my people. Tunubu don't fail. I like what Simon Ekma have just done, and that is why I said that the Biafrans should stop fighting themselves. May they stop to fight themselves. Instead, let them team up and fight these guys. Fight these guys and make them to know that they know what they are doing. You understand? Yes. Fight them. Speak with one voice and make sure that you attain victory. You understand? All right. So this is what I feel. All right, my people, based on what already have just been revealed to you this very day, don't be small matter. Um, please don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated. Each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.